Alright guys, come on, so welcome back to Liverpool Kremlin episode 81. And this week's been brilliant. Liverpool beat Man United 1-0 and deadline day was great for Liverpool as well. But before I talk about the Liverpool-Man United match and deadline day, we've got Man United next. So let's kick the shit out of them like we did in real life. So yeah, since we're playing Man United, I might as well talk about the match that happened last weekend. So yeah, Liverpool beat Man United 1-0, Sturridge. Oh, I just love Sturridge. Like I've said about 6 million times, Sturridge is a fucking goal machine. I just love Sturridge. Just thinking about him now, he's bringing tears to me. I just fucking love him. I want to kiss him on the forehead. I'm not gay, but I want to kiss him on the forehead. That's how much I love him. But yeah, Sturridge scored and there's that cunt Van Persie. It's just funny how Van Persie pops up when I'm talking about the manual match. Because he was a right cunt in that match. Things weren't going Van Persie's way, so he got real angry. And he started acting hard in front of Scale, Agger and Gerrard. He's he started saying loads of shit to Gerard, so Gerard squared up to him because you know Gerard, Stevie G, you don't take no fucking shit, Stevie G. I'll tell you what though, I'd love to see that fight because Stevie G would kick the shit out of Van Persie. When I saw him getting clever to all our players, I was like, Shut your fucking mouth! I'll tell you what though, scared lad Van Persie in his fucking back pocket. And that's why Van Persie was so upset, he kept going up to the referee and telling him, He fucked me in the ass. So yeah, it was a great match, it was good to see Van Persie crying. And I'm sure you Arsenal fans enjoyed seeing Van Persie upset and angry. And what he did on Sunday proved how much of a dickhead he was, starting on Gerard for no reason. Fuck off, Van Persie. Go on, Sturridge! Yes! Daniel Sturridge! Where are the Man United fans? Where the fuck are they? Oh, what a touch that was from Sturridge! Oh, look at that! Save that! Hey, sit down, Van Persie, you grey head cunt! Go on, Sturridge! Shoot, Sturridge! Hey, referee! That's a penalty, that! No way, that's a penalty! Oh, Lord Webb must be the fucking referee! Yeah. Oh, Nanny's on! Nanny the fan who shags grannies! Oh, shit, that's Rooney, isn't it? Oh shit, Rooney scored. Go on, Henderson. Yes, Jordan Henderson. He was brilliant against Man United last weekend. He didn't stop running on Sunday. He just ran everywhere. I tell you what, who needs Usain Bolt when you got fucking John Henderson? Nah, I'm only joking, but the amount of pace John Henderson's got is just amazing. So that's a great win again. Yeah, so back on the Liverpool Man United match. When Sturridge scored, David Moyes was so upset. It was so funny. Moyes was like, Fuck my life. So yeah, it was another nightmare for David Moyes. He's never won at Anfield. And I'm not sure if he ever will win at Anfield, to be honest. Right, so deadline day. Like I said before, it went absolutely fucking mental on deadline day. I never expected it to end the way it did. I'll start with Liverpool. Liverpool signed Sacco, Moses and Thiago Ilori. I think that's how you say it. And I'm very happy with those signings. Especially Sacco, the brick shithouse. I love Sacco already. Just a brick shithouse. Just look at his face. Just look how much of a brick shithouse he is. Just think about Liverpool's centre-back partnership now. Agger and Sacco. If you're a striker, good luck getting past our defence because they'll kick the shit out of you. Sacco will fucking eat you for his breakfast. So watch out, strikers. Sacco's coming for you. You're all pretty much fucked. Right, so back on deadline day. Mourinho forced Lukaku to join Everton. And I was pissed off about that, and so was Lil Kaku, because apparently he wanted to rejoin West Brom. So Mourinho's been a bit of a prick again. He treats Mata like shit, and now he's treated Lil Kaku like shit. Lil Kaku's too good for Everton, he really is. Lil Kaku, that's just a great signing for Everton, that is. So yeah, I feel sorry for Lil Kaku, and Mourinho, you can... Go stick your head up a chicken's ass and piss off. Right, we got Sunderland next, let's kick this shit out of them. How the fuck are they fourth? So yeah, the biggest transfer of the day was... Surprise, motherfucker. And yeah, it surprised me. Ozil joined Arsenal. That's a brilliant signing for Arsenal. I'm really happy for you Arsenal fans because you've been needing a world-class signing for years and Ozil, he's one of my favourite players and when I heard that he joined Arsenal, I was a bit gutted. One thing that's guaranteed is Giroud and Walcott will score a lot more goals with Ozil in the team. I honestly don't understand why Real Madrid sold him to be honest. Another thing I don't understand is why Man United didn't even bid for him. According to Ozil's agent, he was waiting for Man United to bid for him but they didn't bid. So in the end he had to join Arsenal. What the fuck was Moyes thinking of not bidding for Ozil? Instead of going for Ozil, Man United ended up overpaying for Fellaini. All the Man United fans must have been like, Fuck! So yeah, I think Man United had the worst deadline day, and Liverpool and Arsenal had the best deadline day, to be honest. Go on, Sturridge! Yes, Daniel Sturridge. Hey, referee, have this, you prick. Oh, just cut the back of his fucking afro off. Look at this from Sturridge. Oh, I just fucking did O'Shea. O'Shea is like one of the shittiest defenders in the world. Oh, shit. What the fuck happened there? What the fuck was Papa doing? He just took one of their players out. He took Suso out. Go on, Oshuaui. Oh, skill. Oh, what the fuck was that? 
He's done a fucking Walcott there. What the fuck? The lovely skill, but oh, fucking hell. Walcott's been teaching him how to finish. Oh, shit. Whoa! Oh, I ended a fucking draw. They didn't deserve that. So, yeah, a few other things happened on deadline day. Bill fucked off to Real Madrid. Uh, we all expected that. No one's surprised by that. Like I said earlier, Fellaini went to Man United for 27.5 million. He's definitely not worth that much. That's just fucking ridiculous. And the last thing that happened on deadline day was Matt stayed at Chelsea, which I'm kind of gutted. Because he doesn't deserve to rot on the bench at Chelsea. He deserves to play every match. So, yeah, that was pretty much deadline day in a nutshell. I think Liverpool had the best deadline day bringing in free signing. You could obviously say Arsenal had the best deadline day because they signed Ozil, and that's true, but they didn't sign a striker or a defensive midfielder or a centre back. That's what they needed the most, really. So, yeah, I think Liverpool had the best deadline day. Make sure you legends let me know who you think had the best deadline day as well. Right, we've got Valencia next. Let's fuck them up. There's no Premier League matches on this weekend because of international football, and I fucking hate international football with passion. It's so fucking boring. Every time England are on, and Welbeck and Cleverly are playing, the whole of England's like, We're all fucked. Yeah, exactly. We're pretty much fucked when Cleverly and Welbeck are playing. I don't understand why Oxlade Chamberlain never plays for England. He's fucking class. It should be Wilshire and Gerrard in the middle, with Oxlade Chamberlain and Walcott on the wings. But like I said, that will happen, and Welbeck and Cleverly will end up playing because Rodson's a stupid prick. Go on, Alonso. Yes, Chabby Alonso. It's fucking beard power. That's what it is. Hey, referee, referee. Oh shit, I missed it. Whoa, Walcott nearly speared him then. Oh shit. He opened my defence up like a tin of beans then. Go on, Sturridge. Yes, Daniel Sturridge. Oh, lovely skill that was, Sturridge. He scores with his right foot. Oh, beautiful tackle. Hey, referee. This referee's been taking bribes. Go on, Sturridge. Yes, Daniel Sturridge, the goal machine. Go on, Gerard. Oh, ho. Oh, beautiful ball. Go on, Mate. Yes, Juan Mate. We're absolutely destroying Valencia. Oh, he's dancing. He's got the moves, Mate. He's got the moves. Sturridge must have been teaching him. Look at this for a volley. Oh, save that. This keeper's shit. John Terry's probably a better keeper than their keeper. Yes, that's a fantastic win. Absolutely kicked the shit out of Valencia then. The FIFA 14 ratings came out yesterday. Suarez is only 86 and Sturridge is only 80. Oh, that's fucked up. I know what the fuck's going on there. How the fuck is Sturridge only 80? Suarez 86. Suarez was arguably the Premier League's best player last season. I don't know how the fuck is only 86. And Aguero's 88. So according to EA, Rooney, Aguero and Cavani are better than Suarez. EA's also dropped. Gerard's rating to 83 and Dagger's rating to 82. I don't know why they've given our players such shit ratings. And the worst part of all the FIFA 14 ratings is Tom Cleverly is 78. Fuck me sideways. That's just two ratings below Coutinho. When we all know Coutinho is miles better than Cleverly. Cleverly's just shit. All of you legends are better footballers than Tom Cleverly. So all I've got to say to a year is Fuck you! Like I said on Twitter, if you don't change those ratings by the time FIFA 14 comes out, Sacco's coming for you. He's going to fucking destroy you. Right, since the transfer window's closed, it's time to predict the Premier League table. Right, so I think Chelsea will win the league. I think Man City will finish second. Man United third. Liverpool fourth. Arsenal fifth. Spurs sixth. And Swansea seventh. So that's my top seven. It's changed a little bit. But one thing I will say is, I have a weird feeling that Man United and Arsenal could swap positions. It could be Arsenal finishing third or fourth. And Man United finishing fifth. But I think Liverpool will definitely finish in the top four. I have a really good feeling about them. But it's not looking good for Man United. I can honestly see them finishing outside the top four. Even though I predicted that they'll finish third, I have a gut feeling that they could finish outside of it and then Arsenal will take their place. Bears have shocked me, to be honest. When they played against Arsenal, I expected them to beat them with ease. And I spent around 100 million as well, which makes it even worse. But if all the new players click together, then uh, they could be really good. They haven't clicked yet. So yeah, that's my prediction. Make sure you legends let me know what your predictions are, because I think everyone's predictions changed since deadline day so it'll be interesting to see what you legends have predicted so make sure you let me know some good news for you legends is i'll be uploading a video of the fifa 14 demo on tuesday so make sure you look out for that and yes i am serious you don't have to pinch yourself you're not dreaming i am seriously uploading on tuesday so yeah like i said make sure you look out for that video liverpool better be in the fucking demo i better not though because he here fucking hates liverpool i don't know why i think it's because they all support man united who work there <laughs> but anyways hope you all have a great day and see you later